solving velocity, time, and distance. We can take the same formula, which is velocity equals distance divided by time, and rearrange it for different variables. We can find distance, and we can also find time. And using, you know, having two of the variables given to us, we can find the third. So, first one says you're riding your motorcycle 120 miles in three hours. Well, 120 miles, that's a distance. Hours is a time. It says, what's your average velocity? So we're trying to find velocity. And here's the distance and time. So it's going to simply be 120 divided by 3. That equals 40. 40 what? Well, it's miles per hour. M-I over hours. <clears throat> Number two. If we're explorer SUV travels at a speed of 50 miles an hour, that's a velocity. And, you know, I'm circling the variables, putting the letter the variable that goes with it for four hours. That's time. How far, that's distance, did the car travel? So I'm trying to find D, distance, that's right here. So it's going to be distance equals velocity, 50, times 4. The distance equals 200. And, you know, the units are right here. The hours are going to cancel out. So what's left is miles. Number three. The same Ford Explorer traveled 100 miles, that's a distance. The next day for five hours, that's a time. What was the average speed of this vehicle? So speed and velocity are the same, so it's distance divided by time. So the 100 divided by the five. So the velocity equals 100 divided by five, and the V equals 20. Again, that's gonna be um, miles per hour. Number four, a cheetah runs at a velocity of 60 feet per second. There's your V. Four seconds, that's time. How far? Again, it's distance. I'm trying to find distance. Did this cheetah run? So it's going to be V times, you know, V times D, V times T. So D equals 60 times 4 which D equals 240, and the distance is going to be in feet in those four seconds. Number five, how long does it take a truck? So that's going to be time. Traveling at a velocity of 90, here's my V, to travel 990 kilometers, that's my distance. So now we're trying to find the time. Here's the formula for that. D divided by V is time. So the D here is 990 divided by the 90 for the velocity. That's going to equal 11. Again, now the units here, kilometers cancel out. What's left is hours. So it'll be 11 hours. All right, the rest of these just have the numbers. Just plug them into the formulas. So we have, uh, they're trying to find D with V and T. So here it is, the multiply the two numbers. <clears throat> so D equals 40 times 3. D equals 120. Again, the units are right in here. You know, the times are going to cancel out. We're at miles. Okay. Number seven, we're finding V again, D divided by T. So it's going to be V equals 100 divided by 5. That's 20. And this is going to be miles per hour. So miles per hour. Number eight. Here's my velocity and distance, you want to find the time. It's this one again, D divided by V. So it's 400 divided by 100. That equals four. Again, the time here is gonna be, you can see the, again, the units, in the units themselves here, it's gonna be hours. Uh, number nine, uh, given V, and T, find the distance, velocity times time. So the D equals 50 times five equals 250. And looking at our units here, it's gonna be kilometers. Now the last question is kind of a personal thing for you. It says, how would you calculate the average velocity for the drive from home to school for you? What would you do to calculate your average velocity. Well, again, when we talk about average, 
you have to take the total distance. So how far is it from your house to school? Divided by the total time it takes. So you know, on your own, take a guess about how far you are. Not, not the way the crow flies, but how you know driving to school, the miles you have to drive. And then also the time approximately. So on your own, just put your own numbers in there. How many miles it is, and you know, if it's an hour. For example, let's say you're uh, 10 miles away, and it takes you a half an hour, which is 0.5 hour. So let's say it's your half an hour, 0.5. And if I divide that, I get 20 miles per hour. So some of you might be like a quarter hour, 0.25 or a third of an hour, 0.33. So you use a decimal, and you can easily divide that to find that. All right, for the rest of the time, work on the back of the page, same kind of problems, and uh, show your work there. Thanks.